Hey guys, so I want to do a side by side comparison look here with the Galaxy Mega 6.3 uh, smartphone uh, versus the uh, Nokia Lumia 1520, which is a sick beast phone here from Nokia, 1080p phone, quad core processor, and you can find a place on cool games like GTA San Andreas and Asphalt 8 that's coming to the Windows A phone store. Uh, and then we do have this mid range Samsung phone, uh, which is actually performing pretty nice. Uh, to be for being like a mid-range phone, the OLED screen is not as good as, uh, or the screen is not as good as you would get on an S4, uh, but it's still pretty pretty decent actually. Uh, and you can see them in terms of size; they are almost uh, the same kind of size here. Uh, even though the Galaxy Mega is a little bit bigger, uh, actually the screen size you get a little bit bigger even though they look exactly the same here almost in size. Uh, you get a 6.3 inch display, here you do get a, a, a 6 inch display. Uh, I would say though that the display looks more sharper here on the uh, Nokia Lumia 1520. It re looks really really good actually but then again the price is almost twice uh, on this bad boy here uh, and you have this area here with all the apps and the operating system is just really really smooth overall which is the cool thing with uh, both iOS and uh, Windows Phone. Uh, so you have all your tiles here and you can change theme of course. Uh, if you want to see what's going on up here you just have to swipe down like that. Uh, you have a quick search button down there to go to Bing if you do like that. A sick camera, 20 megapixel camera um, versus only some pretty mid-range specs here on the uh, Galaxy Mega 6.3, a dual core, pro uh, dual core processor and um, uh, you also do get actually a pretty decent uh, gaming uh, engine there uh, but overall it's it's pretty basic 8 megapixel camera as well I mean it's gonna be a big difference if you would compare the cameras on these two devices and for a lot of people it's like cost uh, or around paying around two to three hundred more euros here for a for a Lumia 1520 is definitely pretty interesting if you would do here of course you can mix widgets with apps because you do have this um, more freedom uh, with Android uh, and the cool thing also with Android is that you uh, you can customize the UI completely you can also see all of the uh, quick toggles that you really do appreciate uh, with Samsung devices so I might do more videos with these two devices if I do see a little bit of an interest or something so yeah but I wanted to do a quick little review here for those people who wanted to see uh, the size difference here and uh, it's just a lot of other things of course this device feels a little bit more plasticky as well uh, compared to the uh, uh, to this boy here that feels more of a higher quality device uh, with kind of like a matte feeling uh, around so yeah it's a quick little video here checking them out for fun so hopefully you enjoy peace out